Hi Cancer Singles, this is for Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. I think the Moon sign resonates the best, but you can watch what you want. You can watch all of them if you want. Um, but if you don't know your Moon sign, there's a link to the description box in the description box below that'll tell you what that is. And then this is also if you are spying on a single Cancer. So what is this reading going to be about? Uh, what does your month look like in general? Uh, what is it that you think you want versus what you actually need this month? How are other people perceiving you as a single Cancer? Um, what else? Oh, the best course of action to draw in that love that you want, you know, your soulmate, your twin flame. And then how is the Mercury retrograde going to affect you in regards to your love life? Because as you know, Mercury retrogrades seem to bring back exes, drama, repeat patterns of old relationships, shit like that. So um, that is between... March 22nd to April 15th. So essentially the entire time of this love reading. So I think that's kind of important. So we're going to go ahead and get started here in just a second, but I wanted to mention a few quick things. Number one, if you are interested in um, readings, obviously you can purchase those from my website, but there are ways to get free ones. Now, um, I do a drawing every month for a free 20 minute video reading. So you only have to enter once and then you are entered forever. And um, the way to do that is at my website. And if you're doing it from mobile, you know, there's like a little green smiley face icon at the bottom. That's how you sign up. Also, I did a reading for um, everyone to ask, you know, questions on Valentine's Day through YouTube Live. And that was my first time ever doing it. So I didn't advertise it too much. And I don't think I will again because I had plenty of questions to answer. Um, but I think I will be doing that April, like maybe April 9th, somewhere between probably like, you know, the first and second week of April. So if you want the details on that, I'm sure I will post that to Facebook. That's usually where I put announcements. And what else did I want to tell you? I think that's kind of it. I mean, I do do like a card of the day for people in general on Snapchat, but I'm not always consistent about it. Like daily readings that are more in depth, I do those on Patreon. Um, but there's links down there if you're interested. If you're not, then whatever. Let's uh, get started with your reading. Okay, so Cancer, in general, what does it look like? Single Cancers, you might not be feeling your most confident and in control. However, you are coming into deeper emotional balance. So that's a good thing. Like you might be working through some stuff and that's normal with the Pisces and everything kind of energy. If you saw that video, you know what I'm talking about. Um, I'll also put that in the description box if I can remember. Um, but you know, like, the beginning of the month, you might kind of be like, why am I feeling this way? Why am I tired? Why am I sad out of nowhere? Why am I happy now? Like, where did this weird energy come from? And that's the Pisces and everything kind of energy. Um, but even though it's kind of not something that you can control, you're understanding how to balance it all now. And that is going to be very helpful in your love relationship um, kind of energies for March. What was it? 17th through April 17th. Sorry. <laughs> okay. So they're saying, um, you know, like I said, the confidence crisis might be kind of happening, but how, but like your insides are kind of figuring it out. Now they say in order to get confidence in regards to like finding love, to drawing in the right love, the best thing that you can do for yourself is to trust your natural intuition, your gut instincts, but to reconnect in spirit, to understand that everything happens for a reason and divine timing and all of that stuff. It's not an easy lesson to learn and patience is hard. However, the further or deeper that you lean into your own spiritual practice, whether that's, you know, um, running or yoga or meditation or gratitude journaling or watching tarot videos or reading tarot for yourself, like whatever it is that you do to connect to spirit, whether that's through prayer, like everybody got their own way, okay? Um, the way isn't important, but but if you can find a way to reconnect that way, your confidence will come back and therefore you'll be able to better draw in a love match for yourself in general, okay? Now, what is it that you think you want during this time period of the 17th to the 17th? 
and they're saying, um, well, you think it, what you think that you want is, um, like maybe nothing, like you're not thinking about it. Like you in spirit, you and your guardian angels, you in the universe, you and God, Allah, whatever, um, are not on the same page right now. Okay. So this is interesting because it's like, whatever it is that you actually want, either you're not manifesting it, you're not speaking it into existence, or you're saying the opposite thing, or you're putting the opposite vibe out. Now, this could be because of that lack of confidence, but you are not in alignment at this current moment with your um, vibrational match, okay? Like, you're not a match for your soulmate or your twin flame, and so we have to figure out how to combat that, how to get back on the same page. So what is your guidance in regards to that? And they're saying, um, well, like, it really doesn't have a lot to do with, you know, home, money, work, job, but maybe that's where your focus has been in regards to manifesting things instead of on love. So they're saying, um, you're not quieting your mind enough at this moment in time. Like what you need to do when you're starting to feel frustrated or when you notice that you have a negative thought about something, like if you are being self-deprecating, if you're like, oh, I'm so ugly or oh, I'm so stupid or oh, I'm so busy. I don't have time for a love life. You have to like, okay, stop, take a deep breath, breathe some white light through your body, clear your mind, and then reset that. Okay. Think of a positive opposite. Um, like, I will have enough time for the right person when the right person shows up in the right time would be a better way to do that. Or I am totally in control of my own life and my own thoughts would be another one. But you've got these painful thoughts and these painful emotions. And even though you're kind of dealing with the emotional part, um, it's, it's like you're kind of starting to get those things under control, releasing things. Um, you might not mentally be reframing your own thoughts about yourself this month as much as you should or about different kind of um, situations. And so spirit is like really asking you, can you just, act, here's the thing, angels and stuff, that's how I read, I channel your angels. Um, they have a code of ethics and they can't really help you except for like under like a set of five different circumstances. Like for example, if you were going to die in a car crash um, before you had completed like the reason for you coming to earth in the first place, they would save you. Like a miracle would happen. That's why there's like all these like little photographs of things that you see like with like little angels floating away from like the scene of a horrible accident where everyone should have died. Like, you know, like a baby lives and stuff like that. <laughs> like it's, it's that kind of an energy, okay? But my point is, is they have a code of ethics, right? And they can't interfere in your life because of your free will. And so if you don't invite them to give you signs, to to help encourage you, to put you on the right path, to give you that intuitive guidance, which is why some everybody's psychic, but this is why some people are more psychic than others, okay? Because they're allowing that to flow in. So if you're not asking for that, if you're not allowing it, then they're not gonna help you. And that's the point, is they're asking you like, guys, cancers, we really wanna help you find your match. Could you just ask us? That's basically what they're saying. You know, they're saying, we want to help you think more positively. We want to boost you up so that you're a good vibrational match for your soulmate, for your twin flame. But we need you to help us help you. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Uh, so what is it that you actually need? And they're saying, you know, this time of kind of hopelessness or whatever, maybe a part of you needs to kind of know what to expect in order to feel more secure in attracting the things that you desire. And they're saying what you really, really need though, is to focus less on earth energies. That will be the first step for you. You know, so step one, focus less on work, career, money, home, you know, things like that. Focus way less on that. And then step two is going to be to ask your spirit guides, your angels, the universe, whatever you believe, to help you receive and interpret and utilize the guidance that they um, are trying to bestow upon you in order to bring in the love that you want. Now, how are people, potential matches or suitors, perceiving you this month? And they're like, oh my gosh, anything is possible with this person. This could go really well. This could be everything that I ever wanted. Possibilities are limitless. But then there's something that's kind of um, inhibiting them from 
moving down a path of like approaching you and starting to date you and then like pushing the relationship forward and a lot of that is because of this energy that you have right now where you're not in the exact um vibrational alignment and they can sense it because with Pisces and everything everybody's a little bit more in tuned or a little bit more psychic and they can feel that your vibration is a little bit like um I don't know I don't know I don't know and so even if deep inside you do want to be with your soulmate you want to be with your twin flame or whatever okay you want that but you're letting these negative thoughts or feelings like even if you're not consciously aware of them, even if they're stuffed way down in your subconscious, it's like this vibration of lack. Like, ooh, I don't have it. I don't have it. I don't know if I'm ever going to get it. Like doubt and fear. And so what you're doing then is inhibiting that from flowing to you. And so you've got to get really clear about that. So a sacral chakra meditation would do wonders for you. But I would do the root chakra one actually first because it's like the Maslow's Pyramid for starters. Um... You have to have certain base needs met before you can move up the pyramid. But then the other side of that is with all of this earth influence here that maybe you're, um, you, I'm trying to remember what the cancer general reading was. I think it might've had something to do with like not feeling totally secure with finances or something like that. So, um, if you can heal that first, then it'll be much easier to heal your fear and doubts in regards to love. Okay. Now, um, what is the best course of action to get what you want aside from what we just talked about? And they're saying um, not hesitating, making decisions, using discernment, and um, basically just deciding that, you know what, I do want love. I do deserve love. I deserve my soulmate. I deserve them now. I can emotionally connect to people. I'm an expert at emotional connection. I can um, use my own energy and draw in the person that I want. I just have to decide that this is what I want and affirm that and know that it's possible. Lean into spirit and trust that they will bring that to me because they're basically begging you to open yourself up to release any negative th thought patterns or behaviors that you have that are inhibiting them from giving this person to you because they're trying to shove it at you, but you've got like this like little invisible shield up right here. Okay. So that's very important for you. Now, um, how is the retrograde going to be affecting you? And they're saying it actually won't be as dramatic for you as maybe other signs. It might be an opportunity for you to embark upon a new love relationship. So if you want that, you've got to go within, clear out any old bullshit, garbage. Maybe that Chords of Attachment video would help you. Um, that's in the description box below. Because you can cut cords to uh, old people, situations, behavioral patterns. You can do it to negative thinking, all of those things. Um, and they're saying, like, you really have no choice if you want love. Because the thing is, is part of you is like, yes, I want love. I do want this. But then, like, there's a deeper, seedy, like, darker underside. Like, what do they call it? The shadow self that's sort of pushing it away and saying, no, I'm not ready. I don't actually want that. So you, we've got to look at that. We've got to tackle it, get rid of it, and then love will flow right to you. Like, spirit is basically saying, I want to give you your soulmate on a silver platter. Do you want it? But, you know, you're, you've got this invisible veil or shield up you're like um like I just saw you as like bubble boy you know with John Travolta <laughs> and it's like people are coming to talk to you just like right out you can see them but it's like you can never really truly interact with them you couldn't put your little kitten heads together like the <laughs> and connect you know like intuitively the way that you should so anyway ultimately it's your choice whether you get to meet your soulmate or not in this time period of retrograde, it's not an unhealthy time period for you to start new, a new relationship, even though it's often an unfortunate time to like start new business ventures and stuff. For you, this would be good, but you have to allow the help to come in by eliminating all of these icky things first, especially about your um, self-esteem. So love and light, and I will see you for April general reading soon. Thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, 
click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20 minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!